Kim Jong-un's sister calls South Korean officials scared barking dogs. The younger sister of North Korean chairman Kim Jong-un, who is tipped by some experts to be the successor to the North Korean leader in response to direct threats from Seoul, again spoke out about a possible conflict with South Korea. According to the Central Telegraph Agency of North Korea, Kim Yo-jong warned Seoul that if the South Korean authorities, counting on US help, decide to attack a neighboring state, they will receive such a response that the Republic of Korea will cease to exist. The sister of the North Korean leader compared the behavior of South Korean officials to the barking of a frightened dog. A scared dog barks well, but recently the leaders of the Korean puppet military gang have gone beyond all limits with their barking. If they, relying on their master, try to take military action against us, they will be immediately destroyed. Kim Yo-jong warned. Addressing the patron of the South Korean authorities, Kim Jong-un's sister said that the United States, together with its allies, hopes in vain to defeat the North Korea in the military confrontation. She said the US should not instill reckless courage in South Korea and continue to boast of strength by threatening North Korea's security. Such behavior will lead to the fact that the United States itself will be in danger. We will continue to accumulate overwhelming and powerful military power to protect our sovereignty and security. Peace in the region, said Kim Yo-jong. Another round of tension and mutual threats on the Korean peninsula began after the North Korean military conducted tactical exercises simulating a nuclear counter-attack using super-large multiple launch rocket systems. As usual, Kim Jong-un personally monitored the progress of the exercises. It is reported that the 600mm MLRS batteries accurately hit the island target at a distance of 352 kilometers. After this, the South Korean Foreign Ministry stated that the North Korea faces the end of the regime if nuclear weapons are used. The head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the Republic of Korea at a meeting with the military of an elite counter-terrorism unit said that special forces must be ready to eliminate the leadership of a neighboring state in the event of a direct military conflict. A total of 11 people are missing after continuous heavy rainfall hit many parts of South China's Guangdong province in recent days, the Provincial Emergency Management Department said. According to Xinhua, the search and rescue operations are still underway, the department said, adding that six of the missing individuals are from Jiangwan Township, Xiaoguan City, while the other five are from Dalong Village, Qingyuan City. I in the city of Xiaoguan in the north of the province, where large areas are flooded and landslides have been reported. Rescuers were sent to relocate trapped residents and transport food and other materials. The most seriously affected areas are located along the Bay River, a southern tributary of the Pearl River, which flows from Xiaoguan to the Pearl River Delta. The recent heavy rainfall has affected many cities, including Xiaoguan, Guangzhou, Haiyuan, Jiaqing, Qingyuan, Meizhou, and Huizhou, resulting in damaged houses, blocked roads, and landslides. Provincial authorities warned that water levels in the Bay River were expected to hit once-in-a-century levels after another flood earlier this month. They later downgraded the warning, saying water would reach once-in-50-years levels. In Guangdong province, more than 54,000 people have been relocated across the province, with 12,256 people being urgently resettled, the department said. So far, 36 houses have collapsed. 48 houses have been severely damaged, resulting in a direct economic loss of nearly 140.6 million yuan or about 19.8 million US dollars.